with Craig and Linda, where every day is an adventure. Do we have a special guest today? My little boy, Christian. <laughs> surprise have you got for us today, Linda? We're at the Majestic Theater in Streeter, Illinois! It's kind of a tragic story, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm here now and I bought the building and we're going to try and do our best to bring it back to life. Thank you, Katie, for letting us inside the once grand Majestic Theater and giving us unlimited access. We wish you luck and let the show begin. Mission tickets to get inside the Majestic Theater, please. Here we go, inside the first look. Yes, this looks like the ticket booth here, isn't this? All right, let's go in and sell a few tickets. Wow. Yes, Max! <laughs> <laughs> wow, look I at this. I see pop. I could just see popcorn in here. You can imagine this in the old days. Oh, how awesome it would be! This really needs to be. Yeah. Here. They don't make theaters like this, this anymore. Awesome. Wow. And when this theater was built, um, we weren't allowed to bring snacks into the theater. So wow. you notice that the floor slants here. Okay. Oh. So this is actually part of the original floor. Oh, wow. I can tell this isn't from 1907 because they didn't accept Discover MasterCard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> That's Expen the last movie that I showed here. It was Expendables 3. Wow. Oh, wow. Yes. That's yeah. pretty cool. I think this is us. We've got some front row seating right here. <laughs> the usher takes us to our seat. Front row. And look, is it center? For our snacks, our, our yeah. to drink our Front coke. row center. This is the same stage that we've seen Groucho Marx, Jack Benny, Benny Eddie Cantor. Eddie Cantor. And next appearing on the road with Craig and Linda. <laughs> Vaudeville was here at one yeah. time. What if the Three Stooges ever played here? Well, if they didn't, they should have. Yeah. <laughs> We're going backstage. Wow. Oh, this is an old theater. No? My, my son-in-law says it's haunted. Uh-oh, we're in a haunted. <laughs> house main line right here. These were all functional and, and working when I ran the theater. These were all working. Wow. This is the back entrance. This is the back entrance. Wow. And if you were in the band, this is how you came in. Or you could sneak in. They'd open the door and wow. let you in through the back, right? Um, I can take you up. And then, what? I don't know how. Let, let her go see. She can try. Well, we just can't. Go up the stairs. This is probably safe right here. Wow, from an up view on top here. Of the theater. This is where your repair dollars will go for. And how many people used to fit in the balcony? In the balcony will seat about 200 people. 20 maybe. Look at the um, ceiling though. The beautiful ceiling. The beautiful clouds up there, that you, that's a, uh, like in all old theaters, yeah. they have the clouds up on top. That is beautiful. It. Here's some film. Is that actually one of the old projector films? It is. It is. It's old film wow. from the 35 millimeter. Hey, Linda, I found our seats all the way here in the back. Boy, you really had to be desperate to see a movie to be all the way back up here. An inside look of the projector room. Wow. This is pretty cool. Now this is old time fuses here. Wow. Cinematron. That's so cool. Wow. wow, this is old time electronics in here. What were these windows for? These were for Opening and well, closing projectors. The projection went out through here. Okay. okay. Actually, I take that back. This is projection. This is projection. 
these windows were for the um, projections to look out at the um, See if people were doing wrong. So, so they weren't making out in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had plenty of that. Yeah. <laughs> and it usually wasn't the kids, it was the parents. So, <laughs> just saying. Just saying. There's some old film reels. This is back out to the seats. This is unbelievable on the inside. Actually, this would be kind of like the theater, like in the 60s when the Beatles first came over. It would be. They would be in playing in a the theater like this. Oh, this would be a neat venue if you brought back like rock concerts, like people from like the 70s and the 80s. This would be your first act that you'd like to have here as a national act. We're going to do a shout out to them. <laughs> what band would you like? How about a Van Halen coming back for their hey. first get together? <laughs> Okay, so Eddie, Eddie. <laughs> we're putting a shout out to you, Eddie, right now. How about Paul McCartney? That's a little more my era. Or Paul. <laughs> Sir Paul. <laughs> Let's go down. Oh, wow, look at the sign up here, ladies. Oh, is that cool? It was probably lit up. And there's the ladies on the inside. Entrance just down the hall to the right. Okay. And the stairs down. This is as we go down from the balcony. Here's where they have the new and upcoming. Oh, yeah, the new movies that were coming. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Theater number two. This used to be the funeral home. Oh, look at the turtles, Craig. Did you see the marquee above you? Yeah. So how many does this theater hold? 230. 230. Now this one had no stage. This one just had... No. Good, thank you. This one had no stage. This, this is just a regular movie, movie theater. All the VIP seats were taken out. Oh, the Odd Fellows. Wow, check this out up here. This looks really cool. Oh my God, this is so awesome. Oh man, look at the murals and all that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I like this. Oh my God, this is just so beautiful. Oh, yeah, internal order of odd fellows. So for people on stage This old architecture like this. So what actually was like Oddfellows? Was that sort of like like the moose or the elk or that would be comparable? You know, they're, they're actually still an organization. Okay. There, there's, there's actually an Oddfellows Yeah, yeah, actually. And this room upstairs would be sort of a VIP room. Oh, okay. small rooms. And I'm not sure what they used them for. Oh, I think we could figure out what they were used <laughs> for back in the early 1900s. Hey, gotta sit there. I wonder what rooms are doing behind in the theater. All right. <laughs> this place just gets a lot more great to me. It's like, it's so awesome. Look at this. I just want to make sure that the floor is safe. Oh, it's, it's fine. I, I won't take you where you can't walk. 
Boy, if this room could talk, what stories happen in here? Wow. Uh, look at that. I think the odd fellers, they were kind of peepers a little bit. Look at back right there. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that in some movies where they're peeking in on you. La 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 la. la. <laughs> we had all kinds of. I just love too the woodwork. I mean, all the detail in this building is amazing. Yeah. Don't let this place go away. <laughs> now, what date did the theater actually close? Um, twenty fourteen. Oh, so this has been closed for approximately six years now. Yeah. Thanks, Katie, for sharing the Majestic with us. We loved it. Thanks for joining us today. Now, a few things we want you to do. First of all, we want you to hit that like button. Secondly, hit subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Share us all your friends. And join us on our next adventure. Wasn't this old theater pretty cool? Now, what'd you think about today's adventure? It was awesome! Time to do the happy dance. Curtain, please. Van Halen tickets go on sale tomorrow. <laughs> it's like the movie Wayne's World, right? Remember they advertised the band, but they really didn't have the oh, band to come. Okay. <laughs> We're at the Majestic Theater in Streeter, Illinois. Let me do it one more time. Ready? All right, shut up already. Here we go inside the first look. <laughs>